Hi there, Sophia here. I am back from New York. I was there for about a week. It was right after Fashion Week, so it was a fabulous time to go. Beginning of autumn, the air was crisp, it was cool. It actually got progressively cooler as I was there. I did some shopping, not a lot. I mostly did a lot of gazing. I was looking at um, store windows. I went in and just kind of shopped around to see what were the trends, what people were wearing on the streets. New York is very fashion forward. Uh, lots of girls wearing those hats that are in style, the felt hats that are in burgundy and in camel, and dark green, dark brown. That was a really cute look. I also saw a lot of new makeup looks, deeper lipsticks, and not so much the nude lip anymore. There were a lot of deeper browns, burgundies, even purples, some grayish kind of uh, mauve looks, which were wonderful. Lots of burgundy, and the color trend that I noticed a lot was as I was walking through Bloomingdale's, I was looking at all the departments, there was a lot of red, but that red that's very flattering, which is kind of a scarlet, it's like a deep scarlet. It's not really burgundy. It's not an orange red with pops of gold accents like the new Burberry coat is gorgeous. It's a red wool and it has these big chunky gold buttons going down the front that you don't see when the coat is closed. But if you wear it open, it's a beautiful accent. So I really enjoyed seeing all the new things that would be coming up probably in the winter. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of red this year in addition to the burgundy and mauve and purple tones and greens that we are seeing now in the fall. So some of the things that I did there was actually the first thing that we did, which was so much fun, is we went to the Stephen Colbert show and watched it live. It was right after the presidential uh, debates. We actually watched the debates in this studio and then went on to his live taping. It was a blast. Uh, the other thing that I was thrilled to do while I was there was to meet Charlotte Tilbury, the fabulous makeup artist. She is so gracious in person. She, there was a line in Bloomingdale's, in the balcony area of Bloomingdale's, which is just a little elevated with two staircases going up. She waited until she greeted every single person that was waiting in line to meet her. She took photographs with them. She told them what their look was because she has many iconic looks that she patterns her makeup for. She does many celebrities and uh, she's a very beloved makeup artist who comes from the UK. And when she came to Bloomingdale's to unleash her new line there, also to debut the Bloomingdale's Uptown Girl look, and she was gonna be showing that as well, and greeting all her guests and taking a picture. And everyone who had the joy of meeting her got one of these boxes, signed by Charlotte. Hers, to me, says, Darling Sophia, you are a beauty. Love, Charlotte Tilbury, XO. It was so much fun meeting her. We talked about looks. I told her I was a romance writer. She immediately told me about her perfume and how it has pheromones and it basically is different on each person. And that since her perfume was launched, she's heard of two marriage proposals and uh, it was lots of fun to talk to her. The other fun thing that we did was we went to see an off-Broadway show every time I'm in New York. I'm a huge theater buff, so every time I'm there, I try to see either a Broadway play or off-Broadway show. And this one was starring Richard Armitage, the wonderful um, British actor. I've seen him in movies and miniseries and love all his work. He has a gorgeous voice and a wonderful stage presence. Title is Love, 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 and it's basically a biting satire on the me generation and all the repercussions that have come from that. So he played kind of a very despicable character, but he played it well. And then afterwards, he very nicely came out to greet those of us that were outside to meet him and we took a picture. And then the other thing that we did that was fun was go to street fair. I always enjoy that very much. And I picked up some really cute things there. Well, just two things, actually. I got this gorgeous scarf. Let me open it up so you can see it. 
It has all the most beautiful fall shades. It can be worn as a shawl or it can be worn around the neck. The colors are beautiful and I think I'm going to definitely get a lot of use out of this. I already wore it there. I actually wore it to the theater that night. The other thing I got was a lovely bomber jacket. Now these are super on trend. I saw them everywhere in New York but in a thicker fabric. And every time I tried one on, they were so puffy and quilty. I was looking for something thinner, something of a thinner fabric. This is a bit of a silky fabric. It drapes beautifully. I'm actually wearing it. I wore it that evening when I met Charlotte. It is very slim line. It has a very slim line. Let me stand up so you can see this. It has some beautiful gold accents in it, which I really like as well. And it lies flat on the body it's not poofy so that was another one of my great finds in new york i picked this one up at h m really good price and it only comes in green i was hoping it came in burgundy or black but this green is just right for the season so it was a good thing and the other green jacket that i also picked up because it's so practical and so warm is this michael kors jacket it's quilted all around. However, the sleeves are not quilted. The sleeves are in a very warm fabric. And this zips all the way up and all the way up to the top. You can wear it really nicely bundled up. And the other thing that I love about it is it is a thin quilty fabric. So um, it lies flat on your body. It's not bulky. And it has the thing that I love in a jacket, which is the princess seam in the back. Let me hold it so you can see that. And the sleeve is not a big puffy sleeve. It is a nice slim sleeve and it is very warm and has a little hole for your thumb if you want to cover your hands. It also, uh, it's about hip length, so it's the perfect length. With all this green that I bought, I figured, oh, it'd be nice to get some makeup. And I picked up, I finally picked up Kat Von D's Shade and Light Shadow Palette in Sage. It is just gorgeous. Let's see if I hold it up. And this has all the shades that look beautiful with the autumn colors. Now, you know that at the last time, a few videos back, I told you about the Rust Palette, which I love. Well, this also goes very nicely with her Rust Palette. So that's the look I have on today. And uh, the colors are buttery rich very blendable and flattering for brown eyes, hazel eyes. Um, you can use them in many different looks. Kat Von D's uh, shadows always have deep pigment and they're beautiful. They blend so nicely and they can also be worn in different looks, as I said. And um, I also picked up two lipsticks. That's it. I got the one that I'm wearing, which is one of Urban Decay's Vice lipsticks. It's in Wrath. And... Um, I'm going to swatch it for you. I'll do it on my hand. But on other videos, I talked about how when you, in my past video, my Tuesday tip, how when you swatch on your fingertip, it's the truest to your lip color as opposed to doing it on your hand. So I got this color. It is a metallic red. It's not a deep shade, but on my lips, when it's on, it's pretty intense and pretty long lasting. And the other one that I got is this gorgeous color, which I was looking for everywhere, and it is Estee Lauder. It is more of a uh, mauve, burgundy kind of mauve shade, wine, Cabernet. Uh, the color is Reckless, and let me put on my glasses. I'll tell you what number that is. It is 480 Reckless. So I actually wore this color to the Charlotte Tilbury event and uh, she said she loved the makeup look. So that was nice to hear from her. She also said on the Dolce Vita look, um, she will tell people what they are, the Uptown Girl, the Dolce Vita. You can see it on her website. Lots of fun looks to play with. Uh, the Bombshell look is another one. And I also got this um, L'Oreal lip liner. It's a retractable lip liner. It actually goes beautifully with both of these colors. It's more of a brown, um, a brown nude. And so it, it blends very nicely with this one, this burgundy one. That's what I wore it with. But it also goes pretty well with this one, which is I'm wearing today, the one called Wrath by Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. 
Then that's about it for makeup. I got three nail polishes, Essie polishes, which I'm in love with. The first one is Life of the Party. It's a shimmery burgundy shade. That's Life of the Party. The next one is a True Metallic Red, which is just stunning. Let's see, Scarlet O'Hara. How could I forget that? Love that Scarlet. This is the color, a True Scarlet. And then the next one is The Lace Is On. This is a color I'm in love with and I have not been able to find a top in this color. I'm still looking. It's a violet, a metallic violet, and I'm going to swatch it. I think it's just stunning. Here it is. You can see this right there. So those are the three colors I have for the season. I think they'll go very nicely into the holidays as well. And the other thing is just sheer luxury, and I'm so in love with it. It's this perfume by Kenzo World. It was, it debuted this year, 2016. Look at this bottle. I collect perfume bottles and I fell in love with this one. It's called The Third Eye and um, the fragrance is so gorgeous. Kenzo entrusted the fragrance creation to Francis Kurgian. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It opens with a surge of flowers by the armful from petals to bouquets with bursts of sweetness. It's a brilliant fragrance with a lively sparkling trail a crazy rock nectar with an intoxicating scent that titillates the nose, a shot of energy that benefits the soul. That's on their website. It really smells divine. It, it's not like nothing I've had before. It is floral, but it also has just a tiny bit of muskiness to it. I think it's beautiful for the holidays and it is sheer luxury. It smells divine. So that's about it. Oh, I also got this cute little Lariat style um, suede little necklace. It has little fall leaves on it. And uh, this is by Aqua. And then I got these earrings at the street fair that I thought would match really nicely with it. So those were my uh, some of the things that I picked up in New York and some of the fun experiences. You can never have a bad time in New York. It's such an exciting, vibrant city, always changing with each season. Many days I just strolled through Central Park and just enjoyed the beauty of that huge park. And everybody there seems to be having a great time. Oh, I almost forgot. I got my haircut as well. I, I actually have it half up today, but I got lots of layers put in. She cut my bangs or fringe. She actually used a razor on it. And, uh, you know, they're growing in. They're just a tiny tad bit short for me, but I wanted it a little bit shorter so that they, they would grow in. But she very nicely did a layering all over without taking too much from the length. She just said, we'll just do a slight dusting. This was at the Cutler Salon in Soho by Stacy. Wonderful, fabulous stylist. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like on it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye now.